Thank you, Your Excellency, Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Art for Tomorrow, which is convened by the Democracy and Culture Foundation. Um, it's absolutely wonderful to be here. We convened this summit in association with the New York Times, and it is very nice to be here in the wonderful setting of the Acropolis the beautiful city of Athens. There are times when, um, you know, the setting speaks louder than words, and this is one of those moments. The symbolism of being on the foot of the Acropolis uh, can't escape us, obviously, in this temple of culture. This is where democracy meets culture. We all know that culture probably can exist without democracy, but we also know that democracy certainly can't exist without culture. And this, in many ways, is the premise of our, our foundation. The Democracy and Culture Foundation that was enabled by the New York Times to further the work of Art for Tomorrow and the Athens Democracy Forum um, very much deals with these issues. And this has inspired as well the themes of the Art for Tomorrow uh, conference. We seek social impact and we want to look at art and culture as a catalyst for social and economic development. Especially today, you know, two years after the pandemic uh, of COVID, now we're faced with another pandemic, that senseless invasion of the Ukraine. Um, it is times like this. And, and the other thing, being in Greece, this is a country where the last decade uh, has seen multiple uh, crises. So at a time like this, obviously, it is time for us to turn to arts and culture to make sense of everything. It is time to turn to arts and culture to bring meaning to the so-called new normal. These themes, more or less, were what we were discussing seven years ago. Your Excellency, Sheikh al Mayasa bin Haman bin Khalifa al Thani, we are grateful that you're here, but more grateful that you ignited this idea with us at the New York Times back then, uh, seven years ago. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling a seven-year itch, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Actually, with Her Excellency, a few days ago, we were discussing next year, maybe, should we say it, Italy? <laughs> um, but, you know, there's more to come in, in the years uh, ahead. We're, we're grateful that we're leaving something here in Athens. Um, and we are grateful for the founding support of Qatar Museums and Her Excellency. We are grateful for the support of all our other uh, sponsors, Onassis Culture, uh, Onassis Foundation. I guess out of Art for Tomorrow, tomorrow is what they are focusing on. Uh, if there is a disruptor of culture here, it is uh, them. AXA Insurance for protecting heritage and, and culture. Uh, Audemars Piguet, uh, contemporary, uh, and they're bringing us Andreas Angelidakis uh, tomorrow, so that should be fascinating. And Numismatica Genedensis, uh, with a very interesting uh, uh, roundtable tomorrow, uh, looking at the nexus of coins and contemporary arts. And again, that's another theme of our conference, tradition and the modern world, how the two meet, how the two coexist. Uh, we have many other sponsors, the Greek National Tourism that has put on this weather for us, uh, Picte, uh, Ruinar, uh, um, uh, City of Athens, of course, uh, and new BTs. Um, so we thank them all. And I want to also thank uh, all our speakers uh, that have come from all corners of the world. Uh, we're very happy to have you here. And in fact, our four moderators, led by uh, Matt Anderson, who is the New York Times uh, European Culture Editor. And in fact, Matt, I think it was you. No, I know it was you that when you started, it was about four years ago as I was preparing the Berlin version, and you looked at me and you said, why Berlin? And I said, well, where should we go? And you said, Athens. I don't know if you knew that I was uh, 
Greek back then, my Australian twang, and he's a fellow Australian too. Uh, Farah Nageri, well, Farah, you've been here from the very, very beginning. I think you've moderated every single year, uh, and the Athens Democracy Forum too. Uh, Rosalind Sulkus is somewhere here. Uh, Rosalind actually did that article in January that most of you, the Greeks here, uh, and the foreigners, of course, because you all read the New York Times, read that wonderful article about the shadow, what happens on the shadow of the Acropolis. Well, here it is. This is what happens. Uh, our guest moderator, Yorgos Archimandridis, author, uh, he'll be moderating tomorrow. And all this has been put together by Kim Conniff Taber, our editorial uh, director at the Foundation. Uh, it's a fantastic program. So I want us to put a big round of applause for the sponsors, the speakers, the moderators. But I also want to thank all of you for being here. This is about you. It's about the community. It's about the arts and culture sector. Uh, so thank you for your support. Um, enjoy the next uh, few days. Mingle, uh, network, tweet. Uh, I think it's hashtag art for tomorrow. So tweet your heart out. Um, and, and get to know each other. We have a lot of experiential events. Um, uh, you have the program. It's going to be a wonderful four or five days ending at Idra, uh, on the island of Idra, for uh, Jeff Kuhn's exhibition with Takis Ioannou. Um, and, but, you know, for now, we're going to start with two panels. As I said before, um, it's, it's the setting says it all. Cultural diplomacy, restitution... No need for me to say anything more. Matt, I'm going to invite you on stage to bring your panelists along. Thank you.